much. More breaking news now and heartbreak for a local family who'd been hoping for a miracle. The body pulled from the Milwaukee River last night has now been identified as 24-year-old Nick Wilcox. Loved ones had been praying that he would return safely. He vanished on New Year's Eve after partying on Old World 3rd Street. His body floated up yesterday. The 24-year-old was identified today. Todd Hicks is live with new information about how Wilcox died. Todd. Well, Mike and Carol, this is where police spotted that body floating in the river. Now the reality of his terrible death has just started to sink in with family and friends. It's been an emotional day on the UWM campus for Daniel Sumnik. He and his buddy stunned to learn fellow student Nick Wilcox will never return. Take a moment, you know, pray for the family, pray that something like this doesn't happen again to a fellow student. Wilcox's body was pulled from the Milwaukee River behind Usinger's Thursday night. The UWM student was studying to be a teacher. He was last seen outside the Irish rec room after celebrating with friends New Year's Eve. His dad made a plea to help find his son after he didn't return home the next day. He's a good kid. You know, I don't know. He's just a good kid. This is one of the last photos of Nick with his girlfriend as he celebrated New Year's Eve. Nearly three months later, the ME's office used dental records to help confirm his identity. Sumnik says Wilcox's death brings to light just how dangerous the Milwaukee River really is. To fall in and just be swept away and never be seen again like for three months like that, I mean, it's a pretty scary thought. And the medical examiner has ruled Wilcox's death an accidental drowning. On your side, live along the Milwaukee River tonight, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Sad conclusion. Thank you very much, Todd.